All right, just thought I'd shoot a quick video, sort of addressing what size motor you might need for what it is you're going to be doing on your electric bike. So I've currently got 500 watts going in. Uh, as you can probably hear from my breathing, I'm pedaling pretty hard as well. This is quite a steep hill, but we're holding like 20 kilometers now, which is a decent, you know, without an electric bike on the flat speed. So I'll stop pedaling, my legs will still be moving, but I won't be making contact with the freewheel, so it will just, just be the bike and I'll show you what happens. So now I've stopped. Well, you see my legs are spinning slowly but not doing anything. So we are losing speed with 500 watts. There you go, it's going to grind to a halt and I don't want to let it, it spin too slowly. So, I mean, most of the time 500 watts will get you pretty much do anything you need it to do I mean I think there's maybe been I mean at the maximum this motor will put out 1600 watts which is it's mental it's absolutely mental to be honest <laughs> um, the only times I've needed that is one time I dropped it into the lowest gear it had and uh, went up a, a really steep hill like so steep I had to be leaning right forward on the on the bike to stop the front wheel from lifting up uh, in the lowest gear and that was 1600 watts continuous without really accelerating much um, but I mean and that's because I'm on a fully loaded like touring bike so it's quite heavy uh, the other time is when I he was towing my mate he just holds onto my rucksack when he wants a break and uh, I can tow him up to like 40 kilometers an hour 45 kilometers an hour which again is totally unnecessary <laughs> and that's too two people not pedaling and two fully loaded touring bikes so it's a massive amount of power yeah I can't really I mean maybe if I was mountain biking it'd be quite nice like doing some really hardcore uphill stuff but not really necessary so we're still going uphill it's a bit flatter I'm gonna try and put the pedal assist down so that's probably hmm, let's go for three that's probably about as close as I can get to uh, 250 watts so we're going I'm pedaling again now by the way I mean if I stop pedaling now stopping now you see oh it's grinding to a halt 250 watts is okay uh, on the flat it's definitely it's definitely worth having I would say but I really think that 500 watts I mean, 250 watts is the legal limit in a lot of countries. Um, here in Switzerland, I actually think it's, it's like America, it's 750 watts or something uh, for a speed pedelec. Uh, you gotta have it registered and everything though. So yeah, I think 500 watts would do most people. A thousand, like, let's go to 750 then, shall we? It's only, uh, it's only rough, unfortunately. Maybe eight, I know nine gives me a thousand. That's about 750. I'm still pedaling. Okay, I'm gonna stop pedaling now. So this is just the bike. As you can see, we're accelerating. We are going very slightly uphill. Well, saying that, it's, you know, we're definitely going uphill. I wouldn't want to be doing this on this heavy bike without a mower. And it's holding that speed quite nicely. It's really good. If I give it a thousand, this is still me not pedaling. No effort coming from me. You can see we're accelerating quite nicely. Um, one thing to keep in mind going up hills like this is, uh, particularly with this motor, the BBS HD, or any electric motor, you need to keep them spinning fast. They don't want to be crawling along. Uh, like you see the, the speed, the cadence I'm setting with my legs now, it's really slow. I'm not actually doing anything to the bike. The bike's doing it by itself. But if I was, I, I physically could not pedal as fast as that chainring is spinning now to put any effort down. Not in this gear anyway. So yeah, when you're on sort of longer, sort of heavier parts of the motor, times where it's going to be struggling and generating heat, uh, you need to let it spin fast. I'll try and, I'll try and uh, catch up with the speed the motor's doing. That's the speed the motor's doing. Which, that's a healthy speed for this motor. It has got like a reduction gear inside it and then it's got, um, Obviously my gears, because it's a mid-drive, but uh, yeah, you want to keep it spinning nice and quick when you can, otherwise you're going to start wearing things out. It does have a nylon gear in there somewhere, which probably is not going to last forever. 
So yeah, just a bit of a video there to kind of give you an idea of uh, if you're trying to decide what motor you want. I imagine people watching this will be the sort of people that have been looking on eBay at hub motors. You know, they, they always have two, 250 watt, 500 watt, 750 watt, 1000 watt. Well, my, as you've probably heard from me before, my advice is don't buy a hub motor, buy a mid-drive like this one. Uh, see if I can show you. I don't know whether you can see that well or not. Yeah, because that way you can run it through all the gears and it's not just going to be uh, sort of struggling all the time anytime you're going slowly. And uh, as well, it's good to keep the weight outside, out of your wheel because it's not good for the wheels having that uh, weight inside the middle of them. It puts a lot of stress on them. Um, so yeah, hope it's been a, it helps to somebody. Let me know if you've got any questions. As always, I do like getting comments off people. It's nice to know there's uh, people out there watching. And uh, from here in Switzerland, uh, we're probably only two days away from the destination now. Or maybe tomorrow we'll make it. So, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.